felt they are strong, they can be won. So you can change Europe. You can have an impact. It, it, I have seen it for myself that working with those who have more power than, than uh, I would have imagined that anybody would have in, uh, when I was the median age of, of, of this audience, that it is possible to win. And now comes my first challenge to you, and it's one that has little, if anything, to do with IT. I believe that open source as a concept is strong enough to be applied on other things than IT. I'm not the first person to believe it, but I am one of the persons who do believe that. And my challenge is that the music industry today, it's big, it has uh, the, the yearly turnover according to Wikipedia is almost $70 billion, counting in whatever people usually count into music industry turnovers. And that is not being uh, used to fed individual musicians and artists. It usually goes to closed source middlemen. So why don't we transform it? The current rules are set by a cartel of bureaucrats and what I would call predatory capitalists in order to have a slightly more colorful language. Uh, the musicians and the artists, the, the programmers of that trade, have a tiny share of the value that they create. And the limits on the use of the music are closed source. So if you have a piece of music, it's unlikely uh, that just because you've bought it, you can use it in your YouTube video, for instance, because licensing forbids it. So it's not open source. And this said, still, healthy money can be earned from open source music, from doing good, from serving the community instead of uh, having a kurakulu mass attitude towards music. So I propose that let's change the rules. Let's cut the closed close source middleman and apply the values of open source and create something bigger than iTunes. It's possible. You can do it. We can. Uh, there, are, there are other ways of financing uh, music than through existing, existing means because music has an, an intrinsic value to people and you can uh, combine it with marketing budgets of companies that want to associate themselves with what uh, followers of certain types of music appreciate. So we can challenge the incumbents. These are things that we can discuss later on if you're interested. And I believe if this is going to happen, the Nordic countries is a very likely place for it to start. And the reason is we are egalitarian. We are very more, much more equal to each other. Uh, the distance to a boss in Finland is much lower than uh, across the Atlantic, for instance. And we have traditions in Finland and in the Nordic countries like Talko, like Allemansret, uh, which is about the use of common good and the, the creation of common good. And we have a healthy distance from the incumbents. So I have a picture here for how I think it should work. That's my challenge number one. So if you're, you think that openness can be applied to a field of culture and not just IT, talk to me and let's see if radical openness can be used to transform the music industry. End of story.